Sitting with me here is Michael Durausch, president and founder of Planet Chiropractic. Let's talk about online presence. What's worked for you? Where do companies need to be putting their effort? Um, if we're talking like local companies primarily. So for me, a lot of my focus is local because this first we started with chiropractors and then we got into, you know, pretty much noticing that this is small business. So what works for a chiropractor works for a florist and a dentist and a plastic surgeon and, you, you know, go down the list. Um, so I talk a lot about that at PubCon, you know, my uh, local search panels. Um, there's the basics. Everybody has like, you know, the five page website and it's like, you know, here we are about us, stuff like that. You got to go a lot further than that. So um, we'll get into one of the big things for me is getting granular with your content. And, you know, Brett's got that post on Webmaster World on the 26 things you should do is like you should live that stuff and apply it to local, you know, write content regularly. So fresh content daily, get granular with your content, put a lot of stuff out there. So in creating content, do you have any tips for us? Um, okay, so let's talk local specific. Uh, definitely is first, you know, everybody like, for example, if you're a dentist, there's only so much things you can write about dentistry and you're not going to get a lot of traffic. People want to go, they'll go to the site, they'll look at the picture of the dentist. You should always have good photos because they're going to go, does the dentist look like they haven't shaved in, you know, it's like, the, how, how, does, how does that office look? So, the, you know, the office should look clean, professional, things like that. That's basic. Um, what we found is get into who you are. So let's say the dentist is a marathon runner. It's perfectly fine to write about marathons. Because let's say you're an Austin dentist and now you're writing about Austin Marathon and how you've been training for the Austin Marathon and, you know, what you go through in your professional life. And people actually come to the site and go, oh, I'm a runner. And they come to the site looking for, you know, Austin Marathon information or something like that. And they go, oh, I was a dentist and they're a runner. And people think they're like me. I, in my office in Los Angeles, I've had a lot of marathon runners because I long distance run and I've written, I've written extensively about it. So when it comes time for the LA marathon, which is this month, we get a lot of traffic and we get a lot of phone calls and people go, well, I'm looking for a chiropractor for my running injury. What better than a chiropractor that runs and understands that, you know, if I, most doctors would say, well, just don't run, take six weeks off. And that's not going to fly for a marathon runner. So they want to see somebody that has an understanding. So my advice there is, you know, write about your passions outside of your field. Google recently had an algorithm change. Have you seen any changes in your rankings since that time? Yes. Um, so the local change in October just kind of blew everybody away. I was really excited. It did like the happy dance of like everything's local. Uh, although like other webmasters and SEOs, it drives me crazy. Google, please create a no location specific search. Like I want my back, you know, if I'm looking for barbecue, I want to like read about barbecue, not necessarily everything in Austin. When I'm in Austin, it's like, uh, we saw our numbers go up. What's the coolest thing is we got access now to the place page data and the amount of keywords that are coming in. And it's amazing how when you're in like the top three or top five, uh, the amount of traffic that's coming in local compared to a few years ago. So, um, you know, you'd have a situation where a local business might've gotten 10 visitors to their site or 15 visitors to the site where now you're getting three and 4,000 visitors to your place page in a 30 day period. And that's a lot of potential for people might not realize that a lot of local businesses can't handle that many clients. So like a dentist office isn't going to take on 70 or 80 new clients a month. You know, they might take on a few clients per week, and that's a great practice if they took on probably 10 new clients per week. You know, so what we're going to see happen is uh, we're going to see local businesses in the U.S. that thankfully to all this localization are going to kind of max out and have great businesses to so help a lot of people. Um, but then, of course, on the flip side, there's going to be the people that are still trying to figure it out. So... And does um, optimizing for those local listings, is it, is it the same? Create great content, be authentic, um, or yeah. should people be modifying their program? Great question. Um, I say I'm really not a big fan of modifying and following the trends. I still say own your domain, you know, own your blog, content daily, continue to do your stuff, be local, you know, have your stuff. You do want to not ignore your place page. Don't ignore reviews. Get engaged. Um, 
you know, be active, but most importantly is, is your domain because you have control over that. You know, so if people put all their energy into Facebook and forget that they have their own site, why not post on your site and then let everybody link to it from Facebook and then, you know, do that interaction. So it's like you still have your, your content. So I really feel strong that, you know, follow the, follow the webmaster basics and work on your stuff. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Thank thanks you. for all the great tips and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks.